Giuseppe Morabito, the Ndrangheta's most powerful boss. Giuseppe Morabito, nicknamed U Tiradritu, the straight shooter, is an Italian criminal and a historical boss of the Ndrangheta, a mafia-type organization in the region of Calabria, Italy. He hails from Africo in the Lockride. Morabito is an important figure of the Ndrangheta. During the Second Ndrangheta War, 1985-1991, in Calabria, he allegedly chaired the meetings that were held annually at the Sanctuary of Our Lady of Polsai and, later, in Africo. He is described as one of the senior members of Camera di Controllo, a provincial commission of the Ndrangheta formed at the end of the Second Ndrangheta War in September 1991, to avoid further internal conflicts, i.e. the body that reproduces the well-known Sicilian Mafia Commission. When he was arrested in February 2004, Roberto Centaro, the president of the Parliamentary Anti-Mafia Commission, said the capture was even more important than that of Sicilian Mafia boss Bernardo Provenzano. According to several Pentiti Sicilian Mafia boss Toto Renar was sheltered by Morabito, while Renar was on the run. According to the Special Anti-Mafia Police, the Direzione Investigativa Anti-Mafia, DIA, his influence within the Ndrangheta appears to be quite similar as Provenzano's influence within the Sicilian Cosa Nostra. The Morabito clan established a Ndrangheta cell in Messina on Sicily e across the Strait of Messina opposite Calabria. Up to the late 1970s, criminal gangs in Messina were under the influence of the Ndrangheta. Only later, the Sicilian Cosa Nostra established an organization of its own in Messina and its province by including the local Calabrian mafia-type structure. The whole process took place without any conflict and there is reason to believe that the mafia infiltration in the Messina area took place after agreements made between the leaders of the two organizations. The Morabitos exercise considerable power in Messina up to the present. The clan turned the University of Messina into their private fiefdom, ordering that degrees, academic posts and influence be awarded to favored associates. Friends or relatives of politicians were the beneficiaries whom the clan wished to cultivate. Before a police crackdown in June 2001, two professors had been kneecapped by unknown assailants, for bombs exploded in university buildings and the cars of several academics were set on fire. Lecturers were threatened before examinations by students claiming mafia-type backing. The Morabito put together a joint venture of Ndrangheta clans, among which the Barbaro family from Platy, the Pele family from San Luca, but also the Pisano Pesciabellocco clan from Rosano, on the Tyrrhenian coast of Calabria. Connections between the Morabito clan and mafiosi of the Catonia area were established during criminal investigations concerning drug trafficking. Connections with the mafia in Mazzara del Volo in the province of Traponi, headed by Mariano Agat, were used to import hashish from Morocco and cocaine from Latin America. He was also involved in smuggling hashish from Lebanon. Between 1996 and 1997 the New Balkan Mafias began to play a dominant role in the importing of heroin and arms trafficking to the extent that they started supplying the Ndrangheta gang run by Morabito with drugs. The network, including Ajim Gashi and Ismit Dedinka, enjoyed the discreet support of Italian intelligence with which the Morabito clan is in contact, and the direct involvement of politicians, such as Ritvan Peshkipia, who enjoyed diplomatic immunity. The Morabito Brutsaniti Palamara Cosca from Africo is heavily involved in cocaine trafficking through contacts in Venezuela, Colombia, and Argentina. Tiradritu's grandson, Salvatore Morabito, looked after the interests of the clan in the north of Italy. He was arrested in Milan on May 3, 2007, along with 19 others. The police seized 250 kilograms of cocaine, smuggled through the fruit and vegetable wholesale market, or to Mercato, that is under control of the Ndrangheta. Salvatore Morabito used to arrive at the market in his Ferrari. Morabito was arrested on February 18, 2004, along with his son-in-law, Giuseppe Panzira, another fugitive. He was armed but did not resist the police. Treat me well, he reportedly told officers. He had been at large for 12 years, on suspicion of running an international drug smuggling ring. However, many of his relatives are still free and continue to operate thanks to the prestige of Tiradritu. His son and successor as the head of the clan, Rocco Morabito, was arrested.
Despite his arrest, the Ndrangheta continues to operate under the leadership of Morabito's relatives and other powerful bosses. The organization remains a major threat to public safety and the rule of law in Italy and around the world. The Ndrangheta remains a powerful and dangerous organization, but the arrest of Giuseppe Morabito was a major victory for the Italian authorities. It is important to continue to fight against organized crime and to bring those responsible to justice. Only then can we create a safer and more just world.